In this lesson, we look at the arrange function within dplyr. So the arrange function, as we already know, orders the data by some criteria. So here we are saying arrange the flights table firstly by year, within year by month, within month by day. Okay, so we are arranging by multiple criteria. The order is going to be left to right. So the primary ordering is going to be by year, secondarily month, thirdly, tertiarily by day. Or but the default ordering is ascending order, right? So this is going to be ascending order. Of course, the year is all 2013, so it doesn't matter. But the month is going to be, you know, 1 to 12 ascending order. And within that, the day is going to be from 1 to 28 or 1 to 30, however it is. Okay, so if you want to force a descending order arrangement, sorting, then you say descending, D-E-S-C, and then arrival delay. So here we are saying arrange the flights table by descending order of arrival delay, which means the, the first row would be the one with the highest arrival delay. And missing always, uh, missing values are always relegated to the end in uh, dplyr in general that's the condition okay so the missing values are not going to show up on top so the result of this expression uh, the second expression here is the the top row is going to be the row with the highest arrival delay okay of course that could be multiple flights which have exactly the same arrival delay and that those arrival delays happen to be the highest so of course the system has to put one of them on top so something will come out on top Important again to understand, none of these functions that you have in dplyr, none of them change the data frame on which they are operating or the table on which they are operating. Okay, All they do is to produce a resulting data frame or table with the results. It's up to us to just look at the results or assign them to a variable for further processing. Okay, So although the word arrange looks like we are arranging an existing table in reality, that's not what happens, okay? So none of these functions will change the underlying uh, table at all, okay? The change would occur, of course, if we went and assigned the result back to the same variable that had the original table, then the table would change. But if we did not actively do that, nothing would change. Okay, so let's do sort flights to find the most delayed ones. Of course, that's a continuation of what we did earlier, arrange flights, descending order of arrival delay. So the most delayed ones will come out on top. Okay, and as you know, dplyr will list for us the top 10. Sort flights to find the fastest flight, speed-wise fastest flight. Of course, the speed is not part of the uh, table flights, but we have the arrival time, we have the departure time. In fact, we have a field called air time, right? Again we'll see there's a small issue with the arrival times and departure times, but we do have a column called air time. And of course, we have the distance, which is also there. So we can use those to calculate the speed. Okay, so that's what we are doing here. Arrange flights by descending order of distance divided by air time. Okay, so the beauty is when you have any of these dplyr functions, it is not a given that they have to operate on the columns of the original table or data frame. You can write expressions like this, which involve the columns and involve other things. Okay, any kind of expressions would work, except that any variable names you put will be column names in the data frame or table that you passed. 